Hi, welcome to my channel. If you're watching for the first time, we're so happy to have you. What is it? Karibu sana. <laughs> that is in Swahili meaning hi. Uh, well, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for being with me and just coming on and just chilling with me. Um, <clears throat> it's been a good week. A lot has happened this week. We had Thanksgiving. Yay! We stopped our facing food and just went in a food coma. And then though I think this year, um, this Thanksgiving was kind of, how can I put it? Just easy going. Not that they're ever stressful. Last year we went to my sister-in-law and um, she lives about seven hours. So that was a you know, long drive with two kids. Uh, but um, right now it was just good. We went to my in-law, so that was pretty good. We didn't do anything but before that <laughs> um i also went um not went it was also really kind of like a rough week um i feel like i've had that week where it's like really really good and it's like really really high and it's not like there was anything bad particular it's just that when you wake up and you're just like oh you know and i feel like i've had those mornings and also those mornings where sometimes, I don't know how you feel, but you know that adversary, Satan, sometimes make you feel like you're just, you know, bad or you're not good enough. Have you ever had those moments where you just feel low and harder on yourself? And I feel like I've had to work harder on myself to not let those feelings of inadequacy to take the best of me and just to keep rolling with it. Um, so that's one. Um, so the first clip you're gonna see me see my kids hang out because I just woke up and I just felt like being in bed and not doing anything. But I realized that there are days that we would feel like that, and there are days that you would feel exhausted. And I wanted you to know that it's okay to have those days, it's what you make of it. Sometimes it lasts for a few hours, sometimes it lasts for longer than that. But, um, what I'm learning is that. Sometimes it's okay, and eventually you get out of it. So yeah, you see me and my mom here. Cause honestly, that's how I'm usually looking. Like I'm just being a mom, mm, loving it, and just kind of just rolling with the punches. Yeah. So this is life as we know it. This is me. Baba, is are you okay? I'm okay. Okay. Just making sure. We're all in bed trying to convince myself to get out of bed no to um Mommy, Lola's sleeping. yeah lola is sleeping to go make dinner mm -hmm. i don't feel very well lola has a cold he let me just uh, getting over uh, um chicken <laughs> chicken <laughs> strep throat so don't you ever have those moments where it's just it's just one of those things where you just I'm tired of momming right now. Like I just don't I have laundry waiting for me. Like three laundry baskets and I need to pack and I and I'm just like I don't not not today, please. I think we all have those days where we just and there are people who just who need you all the time there's not a time where you're like no you know lola is always gonna need me right now you know Elon's gonna need me and and sometimes i'm like it's okay laundry can wait dinner can wait because i still have to go make dinner but laundry can wait life can wait for a little bit and just maybe snuggle a little bit can i get a hug lola can i get a hug Hmm? Maybe I can hug her a little bit closer and hug him a little bit closer. And, you know, and it's okay. We can see and watch TV for a while. I mean, it's been like, I don't know how many. Fish is baby. But all I'm saying is, sometimes it's okay to not do anything and not to beat yourself up. Sometimes I have things that I need to do every day and sometimes i don't do it but i'm learning that it's okay if i don't do it and i just stay here and snuggle with my baby who is kissing on me and because of that giving me the cold and making me sick 
but it's okay that's what i signed up for as a mom to love and just be loved and just to be here and not do anything <laughs> that's a good one right just be here i'm just being here and sometimes that's enough for me that's enough hello that's enough i'm your mom his name he loves his name like naming Go. him Helam was the best decision ever stamp your feet if you're happy and you know clap your hands if you're happy and you know clap your hands if you clap your hands Lola if you're happy and you know clap your hands if you're happy, if you're grumpy and you know it, stamp your feet. Oh, I must be there. If you're grumpy and you know you stamp your feet. If you're grumpy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know you clap your hands. Lola, clap your hands. Clap your hands. <laughs> See, this is worth it. This is worth it. You are worth it. Can you clap it? You are worth it. Clap your hands. Easy, easy dinner is one can of black beans, one can of one can of corn, one can six ounces. No, not six. Eight um, ounces of um, cream cheese, two chicken breasts or three, I think. And then two cups of salsa. Put it in for three hours. And dinner is ready. That's it. I think my kids are both lefties. Lola uses, I mean, she's probably yes, gonna change. <laughs> but she uses her left hand more she, of the time. Naked, and also her right, but her left yes. is mostly what she uses. And Hilam is a lefty. He has been using it for so long. That's all he does. And now I'm going to watch me some TV. While I fold laundry. And I watch my kids. Yay! Okay, you can have it with tortillas. You can have it over rice. What else can you have it with? Just tortillas. Or wraps. Chips. Oh yeah, we have dips with it. Oh, you can have a roll and just kind of have... That's what we did the last time when we... Had this we had this at Helam's birthday and it's just it's it's really like for those who like the creamy creamy cheesy stuff it's really good mm -mm -mm. he's ready for dinner it's a good day so this is life this I did this earlier today just to maintain the mess so we are ready for dinner so here it is justin um <laughs> already mixed everything together and it's good you can have it with tortillas so another thing that i also wanted to talk about um that i really find really really important i'm a mother of, of kids and um of two kids <laughs> one kid but I'm a mother and one of the things that I want to do is teach them the prayer. Um, what we do, um, our leaders of our church has taught us that we have to have family home evening. A family home evening can be like prayer study, you know, family scripture study or as you get it together as a family. How do you do it with two kids? Huh? It was so hard and for the last couple of years, I think, not a couple, but for as long as Elam was a baby, it was really, really hard for me because sometimes I felt like I had to plan, listen, and he wasn't really interested in that. So how do you do it as a child? Like, how do you do it as a parent, not as a child? How do you do a parent to teach your children about God? Because I want to teach my children about God from a very young age. Maybe it's because I've had that in my life and, and I know how important it is. So we're teaching them the little, little things about prayer or you know we read one verse sometimes so for this family home evening on monday we did um a song about following the prophets and we sang all of the prophets my children were not happy well Hillary in particular but 
one thing that we did tell ourselves we're going to continue to do it because it's important to do these things it's important to to teach them these principles because i feel if you don't teach their children about god i feel that the world would teach them about the world and that's something that i want to do i want to teach them about god so come and see as we start off taking baths hopefully to relax them and um just sing to them and i think sometimes you don't have to do and that's why i used to, I used to just something i wanted something dramatic a song and this is this and that we're just doing one thing at a time and that's okay and honestly some days are harder than others this was kind of one of those days which was just kind of in between but you make it work and i think as you say consistent that's okay i think god notices us when we're doing the best we can to teach his children about him. What did you say, Daddy? We're doing family home evening, Jeff is in church. No, it, it's over. <laughs> we were singing. You, missed, you were too slow getting your camera. Yeah. You missed uh, the moment. Healing was not big, so. Okay. So maybe we can have a benediction. Healing, can you pray for us? You want to come and pray for us? Yeah. Oh, he's going to clean oh, his nose. Clean his nose. Because he was crying. So what did we do? We oh. sang the song. Try it. Push, push. He turns it and then he just... What a long so we are coming to the end you might be thinking oh my goodness what's been going on it's been just one of those lazy weeks as i've mentioned but also in the spirit of thanksgiving it's been a good week um and it really made me think about things that i'm grateful for and such so 
I'm not gonna tell you, but I'm gonna show you what I'm grateful for and share with you my thoughts about what I'm really, really grateful for. But um, other than that, I wanna say thank you so much, so much for taking time to watch my channel, to be here and just sitting around with me and watching us just do us and just taking time to be here. So thank you. I hope you come next week. And um, if you haven't subscribed yet, I don't even know. Please do subscribe. <laughs> we would really appreciate that. So have a wonderful week. And when things get hard, don't let it get to you. No. When things get hard, pray. And know that God is watching over you. So I'll see you next week. This wonderful season, I'm so grateful for so many things. I'm so grateful for a God and a Savior that love us. They really, really do. I think their whole plan is that we can be happy and one day we can go back and live with them. <laughs> for my best friend <laughs> who makes me happy and our wonderful children who call me mom who think that I am amazing and even though I'm showing off my killer moves they still think that I'm fun to be with but I know that they can turn to me when times are hard I love being a mom I think it's one of the best things that ever happened to me I love knowing that I'm not going to do three alone <laughs> and just know that we're not here alone God wants us to be happy um, He wants us to feel joy to experience joy with those we love let us spread love to those around us. Even when times it's hard, let us stand up and embrace love and enjoy those that we love and give them a hug. Tell them that you love them. Hug or what did they say? You know, you hold on a bit longer. That's what life is all about. I am grateful for all these little moments that I enjoy. That is precious. It's a wonderful time to be alive. See you next week. <laughs>